New Eurorack modules are appearing all the time. Some say there's as many as 500 different designers now. But always out near the lead in budget terms are a couple of manufacturers. And one of them is York Modular, also known as Yomo. And they achieve these budget costs by offering small modules on a black Perspex panel instead of the usual metal panel. We've looked at some of these before. Here's their VCOA, which is a wonderful way to start building up your bank of oscillators at a budget cost. And there's the simple white noise next to it. But now we're looking at their ADSR version 3. Let's just have a listen to that oscillator sound. Now we've got the envelope triggered by a very slow square wave LFO. Let's speed that up a bit. And we can hear a very short envelope. Let's make that a bit longer. Now that still sounds fairly short, and that's because the ADSR has two time scales. Let's switch it onto the longer envelope scale. And immediately you can hear much longer envelopes. A nice sharp attack there. Let's see what it does with a slower attack. So that's a nice soft slow attack if that's what you need. But if you want fast envelopes it can go fast. Now that envelope is controlling Yomo's new voltage controlled amplifier, which is called THAT2180. Not much to say about that apart from the fact that it has two audio signal inputs, two CV inputs, an audio output and an overall level control. Let's turn that level up a bit more. Nice and loud. So that's a dependable VCA design. I'm going to flash up the cost of those two modules and you may be pleasantly surprised to see how inexpensive they are. Yomo sells mainly through eBay so have a look at what they've got to offer or do a search for York Modular. They have a wide choice of modules now including all the basics and that can help you build up a quite versatile very lightweight and very compact system without spending too much money. Now let's move on to a company from the USA. I have to start by confessing that I don't know how to say their name, but it's spelt Z-L-O-B. So I guess it might be Zlob, or Zlob, or since they're in the USA, maybe Zlob. Anyway, they do nice colourful designs on small and affordable modules and what we're looking at here is one of their basic VCF modules. This is their TH state variable filter which has three simple knobs towards the top cut off resonance and CV level and below them out of the way of the knobs two CV inputs, one for an envelope one scaled at one volt per octave and then three outputs for high pass, band pass and low pass output. Then in the centre you have two audio inputs. Let's just have a listen to what that filter does to the oscillator sound we were playing with earlier. 
connected to a low pass output at the moment. So that gives a good powerful cut, it's cutting it down to nothing at all as we open up a lot further. There's a bit of overdrive there so you can get a nice distorted version of the sound if you like. Next we'll turn up the resonance a bit. That's very powerful and can give a very harsh overdriven sound if that's what you're looking for. And the filter will oscillate. That's a very screaming output indeed. Let's switch now to bandpass. Well, on bandpass, it's a bit better behaved. And on the high pass, we should find that a lot of the lows disappear. So you can make a nice thin sound using the high pass output. Now there are a couple of alternative settings on the circuit board for this Zlob state variable filter and we'll flash up a bit about those together with how much it might cost you. Zlob has a good wide choice of modules and some nice eye-catching designs on the panels. They're not expensive either so it's well worth looking up their website and checking out what they have to offer.